and we are live what's up everybody how are you doing it is another friday night another episode of night school good to see you guys here if you can hear the sound of my voice my sonorous voice let me see you type it right there in the comments if you can see me well you can hear me well let me know so i know i'm not just talking to myself today is a fantastic one we have a fantastic topic today and if you read the copy you know we're talking about genius by design that's right genius by design and just give me a sec there genius by design how to unlock your hidden strengths discover your unfair advantage using simple tools now why did we bring this topic together uh, we're doing this because there's a lot of people who do not know that genius can be, to a large extent, guided. I wouldn't say predictable, but I would say it can be guided, right? And so there are some people who are entrepreneurs, but they may not exactly have the temperament to be entrepreneurs. There are people who are in certain careers that their personalities are not well suited for because we look at some people who just appear to do so well they tend to climb the career ladder at whatever it is they're doing very quickly and we look at some who are doing the same thing living by the same principles but they don't quite take off so what could be the difference well research has shown that people can have temperaments that are well suited for certain careers and those who are able to play to their strengths are those who have a higher chance at winning. So how do we play to our strengths? How do we even know what our strengths are? Do we guess? Do we go by feeling? Or are there empirical tools that can lead us in the right direction, all right? Today, I brought on a fantastic, phenomenal guest. His name is Olusheye Adepoju. And Olushi Adekboju, one of the reasons he really caught my eye is that he's not just one of those people who teaches as he feels, all right? He is fully qualified to take on this topic. So let me give you a little bit about Olusheye. Olusheye Adekboju is a globally certified Gallup Strengths coach. And if you know what Gallup Strengths is, go Google it. It's one of the best uh, strengths finders tools available in the world, and he is certified with Gallup as a strengths coach. And he holds an MBA from the business school, Netherlands. He holds a first degree in political science at the University of Ibadan, Nigeria. He also has a certificate in the science of well-being in Yale from Yale University, and also foundations of positive psychology from the University of Pennsylvania. He is extensively traveled and has, and has an invaluable depth of leadership experience in the public and private sector with a knack for taking calculated risk. Tonight's episode is for entrepreneurs and career professionals to help you understand how simple tools can give you an advantage and put you on the fast lane to career success. And this is also essential for parents who wish to use these tools to give their children an early start to their path of genius, all based on science, all based on psychology. So just before I bring on Olusheye, I want to introduce my able moderator. This is the first time I'm going to be working with a moderator, right? And I'm sure it's going to be fun. I'm just going to be here acting as the, the, the cameo. I'll be off the stage for most of the time, and I'm just going to let um, our moderator and our guest take on the show. So let me bring on our moderator. This is our able moderator, Ejiro Osakede. <laughs> Ejiro, good to have you on. <laughs> good to be here. Thank, Thank you so much. So Thank you so much. much. It's such an opportunity, such an opportunity that I do not take for granted. granted. Thank you so much. You so I'm much. so glad awesome. to be here. Good morning, good morning from this morning side, of the, from side of the world. Awesome. Good to have you on. So Ejiro, I mean, you can hear her voice. She is a natural at this. Ejiro is actually a podcaster. Not just a podcaster, but she is a podcasting coach. She also has a company that helps people publish audiobooks. So when it comes to audio recordings, audio mixing, and publishing online, she is the boss, all right? So I'm going to be leveraging heavily on her sonorous voice while I rest mine for today. Ejiro, <laughs> great to have you on again. <laughs> 
Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. All right. So while I do that, I'm going to bring on Olusheye. His handsome face is right there in the green room. And here he is. Mr. Olusheye Adekboju, good to have you on the show. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Awesome, awesome. Be, be. Awesome. So in, in 15 seconds, what are we to expect from today? Okay, so, okay, so I'm, sure I'm sure we're going to be having, we'll be having a mindset, mindset shift. shift. Uh, beyond, that, beyond that, people will people begin to ask to themselves, ask themselves why, why didn't they didn't know about this earlier than now? Okay, mm. uh, and for those that are on the, on the call right now, you better just get ready because things have shifted uh, and this is the right time to even be hearing this. Awesome. All right, guys. So I'm going to leave right now. And as you guys know, as is customary, somewhere along the, uh, the show, we're going to open up the, 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 the phone lines and you can call in, ask your questions. But when that time comes, I'll put up the URL to the Zoom room and um, we'll, we'll just kick it. So without further ado, I'm going to leave this place and Ejiro is going to take it from here. All right, guys. Thank you so much, J.O. And once again, such an opportunity like um, to be here today. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, I see in the comment section people saying that there is an echo. Do you still hear the echo? Please let us know in the comment section if you still hear the echo. But I think it's gone now because I think I heard it earlier as well. But let me know in the comment section if you can still hear the echo because we need to be sure that tonight or this morning um, we're not... Um, missing out on anything we want you all here this would be a very good time for you to take away all distractions i mean this is why it is night school right so that the amount of distractions that you're experiencing can be cut down to like the barest minimum so do not do not allow yourself be distracted at this time please if you're not already with your notebooks i'm going to give you just 60 seconds to quickly rush right now quickly don't get a piece of paper Ensure you get your notebook. Look at mine. <laughs> Ensure you get your notebook because a lot of nuggets are going to be dropping here. Um, you're going to need to capture some, you know, um, wisdom that will be dropping, some tools that will be dropping. You will need to capture them. So please, 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 now will be the good time to go get your notes and pen together and cut out every form of distraction. Don't look here and there except for that one time or that interval. You know, on night school, would always say, right now, go and call everybody that needs to be here. If you know any parent, if you know any entrepreneur that needs to be here tonight, please click on that share button on this video and share to your WhatsApp status, share to your Facebook, share to everywhere shareable, you know, and then when those nuggets are dropping, you can take a screenshot as well, as well and share on your stories on Instagram and tag John Obidi as well as night school tv underscore okay on instagram if you're not already following night school like why are you here we're going to unregister you okay so don't let us do that please as you you know get the nugget as things are dropping for you this tonight please you know you can show your stories and tag john obd as well as you know night school underscore tv and you know if you want to tag me as well i wouldn't say no i am energetic ej underscore on instagram all right thank you so much for being here tonight i want to check again okay i see the comments now saying no echo no echo no echo fantastic all right awesome so mr lucia are you ready for us sir well, I'm most ready, my like lady. You're born How ready, you? I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so awesome. Yes, uh, please um, take it away. Okay, so um, I, I must say thank you to this team, um, especially John Obidi, for this opportunity to be able to share with his community. Um, I do not take it for granted. Also, Lady Ajiro, yeah, you know, that's the lady of uh, what the voice now. Um, so yes, it's, it's such a delight to be here this evening. So uh, unlocking your genius. Uh, you know, huh, when John approached me and said, look, we, we needed to touch on this. Uh, for me, it wasn't something I was eager to take on because it's quite broad. Uh, and I, I didn't just want to start to whet the appetite of you know the community and then leave them angry. And then while whilst I started to re ruminate over what to deliver, 
it was also clear that there was a need to let people know why. Okay, uh, and let me even try to leave it as as it is and ask a question. Uh, I, I I can I see a bit of a comment, but ask a question as to. Uh, do I want to even go into as to the age range of the people on call this evening? Okay, so uh, do we want to say 30 to 40, 20 to 39, uh, you know, uh, 41 to 59? Mm -hmm. You know, do we do we have, you know, if if you just fall, just say if it's 40, just drop 40. If it's 30, say 30, you know. If that will make sense, okay. So I want to say to awesome. yeah, yeah, twenty five yeah, to thirty. Yeah, 25 to 30. Okay. <laughs> okay, I had a reason why I thrown this up, you know, just so that I could balance the thoughts around what I'm about to share, uh, because for okay. different awesome. audiences. So guys, please, awesome. Okay, the comments oh, are coming in now. Yeah, we see seven, right. seventeen to forty five. We see thirty. We see thirty five to forty. Yes, twenty to twenty five. Hmm. Awesome. So it's awesome. safe to say I, I, 17 to 45. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Safe, yeah. Okay. So if if I was in a different, so now it's a mixed audience. So there will be some audience I'll be in. And the, the first statement I'll probably start off with, with will be that where you are, I was. All right. Where you will be. All right. I'm not there. I cannot even tell. Now, if it was a hundred years ago, where you are, or where where you are right now, I probably was a uh, hundred years ago. Where you will be will be where I am right now. It will be so clear, and I'm going to drop that. You know, just hold on to that thought. Okay, so uh, let's even talk about buildings. Okay, before we will start to talk about <laughs> this thing called strengths. Okay, um, so the tallest building at some point. Uh, was you know it was not as was not more than a hundred meters the tallest building in the world at some point. In fact, my closest example or the in interface with a tallest building was through a book I came in contact with and decided to talk about the Tower of Babel, uh, and that for me was like okay that could have been a very tall building. Only until when I started to you know research and at some point I started to travel and I got exposed. And I realized that, hey, truly, could, couldn't there have been a taller building than this building? Uh, you know, why, why all this fuss about a tall building? Anyway, so based on research, I discovered that as at, 18, at the 1800s, uh, we had the tallest buildings. You know, uh, they were, yes, like I said, less than 100 meters. And then somehow in the 1900s, we had buildings that were around, uh, 112, 115, uh, and then fast track now to 1974. Uh, we had the Willis Tower, okay, uh, which was the tallest building in you know in the world for almost 25 years uh, before we started to have you know the Petronas Tower. Uh, Is it just me or did um, Mr. Tyra's video freeze? Please, can I see? Okay. I think there's a freeze there, yeah? Yeah, I think there's a freeze. Let's just uh, wait on a bit for Mr. Tyra's video to catch up. I'll, I'll see what's going on. Awesome. All right. Okay, guys, while we wait for Mr. Tyra to come back, please, I, I saw somebody said this was their first time. So we have a tradition here to welcome the first timers. So if, you're, if it's your first time here, please, you know, type it in the comment section. Say, I'm the first, I'm a first timer here. And you get to grace our screen in the comment, you know, your comments will come up on the screen. So if it's your first time here, let us give you a proper night school welcome. All right? Make, make when I talk through. <laughs> you know, people will say that I'll be, I'll be first time and so they can chop to puff off. I know. <laughs> They will just be changing their first name every time. Okay, Apostol Apostolic Center TV says first time. Famous CEO says first time. Abu Bakr, first. Wow, a lot of first timer. Our our community is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. There are a lot of first timers. People don't lie you. We will not give you two puff puff if we see your name in the system. <laughs> 
Edmond says first time. Trade DNG, no way. Trade DNG. I think you're a regular customer. You can't be a first timer. <laughs> Ah, uh, Ugo Umeboro, Laya Laya. I will tell, I will tell for you. <laughs> Zim Simmons, I'm a first timer for today. Awesome. Welcome to all our first timers in night school. Night school is one of the best places or places to be on a Friday night. Like going clubbing on a Friday night is so 2018. Okay. So, in case this is your first time, go and tell your friends that you, you've discovered a place to be on Friday night, okay? If you're Nigerian, remember that song, La 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 Friday. When you're telling your friends, wait, I was up all night. You're like, how did you go? Just tell them I was in night school, okay? So in case you don't know before, for you who are coming for the first time, become a regular customer, okay? We have goodies for you, like, you never leave a night school the same way you came. Never, ever. All right? So invite your friends. And you can do that right now. All you need to do is click on that share button, copy the link, and share. Invite your friends. Tell them, oh, my God, I just discovered something. They'll be like, what? Like, take this is the link. Check it out. And let them come here, okay? Now, let us get back on track. Remember, your note pen, in case you're just joining a note pen and your, your, your notebook. There's a note pen. Oh, maybe somebody should invent that. A note and a pen, all in one. <laughs> so please get your notebook and your pen and let's get into class again. Welcome back, Mr. Adepoju. Okay, so sorry about that glitch. Um, well, I, I cannot make an excuse for that. Now, so as I was saying, I don't know at what point when you lost me, but the reality is that... Um, the rate of change is moving so fast that unlike before, if you weren't aware of yourself or your proclivities or your tendencies, you could have still remained the way you were and nothing would have changed. So for instance, you would have been at a, at a career uh, or if you started a job, the likelihood of going through that job uh, and retiring at that age, you know, and then just going back home would, would would have just been a one-way streak. But in this era that we're going into, and even with this extant reality, we've come into a phase where people are going to be changing careers. Okay, I'm not talking about jobs now. They are going to likely change careers, you know, over a span of 40 years, at, at least five times. Okay, so hmm. you would have someone that studied accountancy and then will start to brew into engineering and then you will now discover that there's a need to do a bit of musicology and and then you you know you'll be wondering what is the blend okay so there'll be you know mixed trends and mixed careers and it's not a change of job it's not as a lack of result of uh, having a job but it's that careers will change and that's the era that we're in now so you cannot mm -hmm. be monolithic in fact our devices are turning to what the future holds okay so the devices have become, you know, multiplicit, but yet we, the operators of the devices, have remained monolithic, okay? Uh, the devices hmm. before now, all they could do were, were, was to probably make a call. Then they progressed to the point where they could send text. And then text at some point, they started to be able to, you know, exchange notes. Pictures. And they came, yes, you know, pictures and all of that. Now they are like the home office, right? If you have a gadget a phone, you could literally do anything, okay? I mean, anything. But guess what now? The operators of the devices have not updated or neither have they upgraded. Hmm. They've remained the way they are, okay? So then it was okay because the rate of change wasn't, you know, it wasn't as fast as it is right now. Now, the rate of change has cut down to the extent where uh, people now must now be aware of themselves, uh, uh, come to an understanding of who they are, uh, just so that they can also move rapidly. So there's this thing about the guys that are able to, uh, the, he says, the unreasonable man adapts himself to, to the world, okay? But the reasonable man adapts himself to the world. The reasonable man, the reasonable man, watch mm -hmm. it now. The reasonable man adapts himself to the world. He conforms to what goes on, okay? But the unreasonable guy, 
is the guy that adapts okay. the think... world to himself. Okay, so it, could it you, changes. Could you, could you, sir, could you please take that again? There was a freeze in there, so we didn't hear that okay. quote. The, the, unreason the reasonable guy adapts himself to the world. Okay. The, guy just adapts. the unreasonable guy, all right, makes sure that the world adapts to him. So he draws the world to adapt mm. to him. Okay, uh, what has happened is that. We have been in an era that's prepared us so much for work or as industrial workers. So that's guided also the educational system over time. Uh, I rather not call it a scam, but that is what has led to eight o'clock is the time for school. That's Never cool. be late in the morning. And then you remember eight o'clock, just so that you got there, you got into school. You got into university, you got into school, and then straight work, you were refined right. to work. Okay, so you work straight straight hours, eight hours, and then you're back. So that that's how they had configured most people. Okay, so that that's one one of the reasons why you must know about your strengths now. That look, this time is no longer survival of the fittest. Okay, it's the guy that knows about right. himself that is able to make a difference. So that's one. The second thought would be the thought around. Um, and let's let's be you know let's be graphic here now as to the there's, there's this popular quote even though it's not uh, attributed to Albert Einstein but it makes a lot of sense to what I'm about to to say uh, and that talks about that every attempt to make a fish climb a tree is almost stand them to you know uh, being uh, committing suicide or hmm. it will be suicidal for that fish. Uh, and it's also from a point of view. So if you've lived your life thinking that all that was important was for you to climb a tree, well, in actual fact, uh, you would have just been, at best, a, a good swimmer, okay? Uh, uh, th th that, that would have been, you know, that would have still have been okay. But with, with the times that we're in now, we require enough specificity as to even how to navigate. So there's the the fresh water fish, there's the shallow water fish, there's the deep water fish, there's the muddy water fish, and several other it's fish. Okay. Hmm. So that if you were a fresh water fish and you get into the the you know the salty water terrain, uh, you'd just be ready to go home. Job. <laughs> <laughs> so so guess what now? A lot of people have lived their lives, okay. You know, instead of slaying on their oh, lane, water. okay, instead of mm. staying and slaying and swimming on their lane, they are busy chasing what Ajiro or John is doing and hoping that that is the way to go. Uh, mm. And that been the 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 formula, okay. So until the likes of a Richard Branson will say, hey, uh, he couldn't conform to the system. The status at that quo, point. yeah, and so. They'll say, no, this one can't make it. Then there'll be another, you know. There, so there would have been several other people, you know, and say, no, these ones are not, you know, conformist. And can we take them out? Can we take them out? But what's happening now is that the, there's a reverse engineering going on. And now it's about the people that probably were not conforming that are beginning that to are take not over. taking the lead. Absolutely. Yeah, they're not taking the lead. Absolutely. So that takes us zoom in into the crux of today's discussion as to it's imperative that we all know about ourselves okay now the the philosophy of and so now that's a, that's the, the the basic foundation for this discussion that at this time we must distinguish ourselves but there, there are a couple of pointers to also why we must know about ourselves it enables us to take control of our life uh beyond that it also ensures that we are able to get maximum results uh and then we can move with laser focus, you know, with precision, uh, rather than moving, you know, in, uh, you know, without a clear, work. Uh, clear focus, all right? Uh, then, when we know about ourselves, it helps us to remain our accountable, okay? And it also motivates us to doing great, great things. Uh, it, it instills within us energy. Uh, and then we can be the best that we can be, and we can live the best life uh, that we ought to leave. So there are several models, there are several tests, several assessments, and I'm sure if you've read the caption and even with the intro that was given earlier on, um, so you hear people talk about the DISE, DISC, 
okay? Yes. Uh, and then you you hear people talk about Maya Briggs. Uh, you hear people talk about you know the character strengths. You know, um, you know assessment, which I is know, slightly uh, different from yeah, which is slightly different from the the strength finder uh, for which I uh, am certified uh, to talk around now. Uh, one of the things, and and this is not, it's almost like you telling me to come and advertise for other companies. Uh, is, but I, I'm not trying to do that, but let me tell you something. Uh, most of the other assessment tools, uh, they are well able to situate you, you know, as to um, where you ought to be, uh, but they might not lead you directly to the door. Uh, and what do I mean by that? So if you take a typical Maya Briggs, Maya Briggs will tell you, yes, you can be in this district. So let's say, uh, I, I don't know where everybody, everyone is logging in from, but let me just be, uh, let, let me believe that you are all generally. within, say, generally. So Ejo, do you want to guide where generally? Is it, so it's, uh, it's, a, it's a mixed, it's a mixed crowd, okay, so like it's global. Let's work so with your have... now. Okay, no problem. <laughs> okay, okay, so if you're in uh, Dera, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. or where now? There are so I think, or yeah, yeah. Okay, the the yeah? let's use let's it's okay <laughs> to use Nigeria because that's where we're kind of broadcasting from. But okay. we have people okay. from every almost every part of the world. But let's come to like, like you can use Nigeria, that's what I mean. So that you know the okay. places are a bit more familiar. Uh, familiar. So let, let's use um Lagos. Okay. Most of the okay. other tests would help you locate your area. Okay, where you are best yeah. suited. Okay, so uh, let's imagine you do a test like the Maya Briggs. It takes you to Ikeja. Uh, Ikeja is somewhere in southwest of Nigeria, Lagos State. Uh, and then right there at that uh, Ikeja, uh, you you have found yourself, and you know that yes, this is how I'm able to function. You know, almost using the the analogy of the fish. So you can see that okay. This is the district. This is the area I'm supposed to function. But one thing mm. a Gallup, you know, strength finder or Gallup assessment helps you do is that it gives you what we call the zip code. It tells you this mm -hmm. is the, the, the number, local this government is, area. <laughs> yeah, and even beyond the local government, it says this is house number two. You know, wow. but you cannot enter and then now discover that maybe there are six flats. So because no test can actually give you, you know, with 100%. the measure of you know, 100%. But at least one takes you even closer home in the sense that once you begin to understand this, um, you are best able to begin to, you know, uh, tune in yourself. And it brings you to the point of awareness as to, hey, so this is what I have. You know, one of the failures of the past is the fact that we are taught that it was okay to be like this. So uh, there are probably four careers that were tenable at that point. Uh, the engineer, the doctor, accounting. the, the accounting, uh, the accountant, and who, what else? It would have been, it, no, not, um, yeah, but well, whatever it is, there would have just been engineer, the engineer, okay? There would have been the engineer and, uh, you know, but that that was just because that, that was what our people were exposed to at that time. Uh, and even world over, you imagine building the tallest building, there had to be what we call wind engineering. Okay, imagine mm. you, you need to understand even to float the biggest ships. You, you need to defy, you know, the you understand the law of buoyancy. So it therefore meant that as people got informed, uh, the insights, they became more aware and they decided to evolve new ways or new, on, with their new understanding, they started to profile new solutions. So that's also with the individual. Remember, I talked about... Uh, we understand the devices that we use that have been updated and upgraded, but even the, but on the operator. Yet, mm. Yeah, yeah, but yet we we have not even done any system upgrade. Neither have we done any system update, you know. Uh, and so with the discovery of your strengths and with what Gallup does is that we say, look, can you begin to focus us on what is good about you? Okay, so let's talk about SWOT. You know, we hear uh, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Okay, the strengths and weaknesses uh, probably focus on the internal, uh, and then the opportunities and threats focus on the external. Okay, uh, but so 
what truly do you want to well that party for an organization might work suitably well it also could guide you in a bit to know how to prepare for war but it doesn't help in the sense that uh, it helps but it doesn't help you narrow down to what you need to start to do sure. and what you need to start to focus on and so Gallup's model says look what would happen if you started to study what is right with people instead of focusing on what is wrong all right, hmm. which would help you become more successful in life. You know, it's about knowing, yes, you are aware of your weaknesses and you attempt to improve your weaknesses, but it's not sufficient because all along, what we've been trying to do is to try to be a better fish trying to climb a tree, okay, as to, hey, can you imagine if, um, a, a, so this is Taiwo now, is supposed to be, um, sorry, Olushe is trying to uh, climb a tree, but yet he, he's not, is not configured to climb a tree, irrespective of the night school he attends, irrespective mm. of the, the the Harvard degrees, he, he you know, or the schools he goes yeah, to, quiet. irrespective mm. of the laying on of hands, you know, for those that uh, you know in the esoteric <laughs> era, or even from the imam or wherever, or you even go and meet the orumulas or whatever, you would soon have realized that that attempt by him to climb a tree as a fish is it, going to lead to suicide. Okay, so hmm. to frustrate, and that's why people get frustrated because they will, they will just not get fulfillment, you know, in whatever uh, they are doing. So, what what are these things we call um, strengths? Now, before we talk about strengths, we start to talk about talents. Okay, um, because we are all talented differently. In fact, there's a book. Okay, no, I'm not going to advertise any book now, but. There, there are several books. No, it's fine, but you can make if it's a if it's a reference because at the end of the day you are still teaching us, right? So if it's a yeah, reference, okay. we can go get. Okay, yeah. I just want to be guided. So there's what you call talent code. Um, the author's name got off my head, but the talent code typifies as to uh, how you can begin to embrace um, a new way of life if you if you understand your talent and you whip it well. Also in line in alignment with what Malcolm Gladwell was talking about as to the 10,000 hours, uh, that mm. you could soon perfect that skill to the point where you would have become a master a of master. some sort. Mm. Uh, and so if you if you see people, uh, particularly in, in China, um, be, be, by the time they, they start to nurture a child, they're already preparing that child for the Olympics. It's not about uh, sure. them just gathering people and saying, hey, you come and be like this. You come and... Once they see that you have this type of giftings, they begin to put you in, in, in the way you can properly fun function. Now, why am I making this very um, um, pedestrian or very easy to grasp is that it, it shouldn't be too much of a rocket science because if we go into the science of this, then at some point you're asking yourself, well, I, I, can I just be myself? So let's even start to talk about talents. Talents are naturally occurring, um, recurring patterns of thoughts feelings or behavior that can be productively applied mm -hmm. and i'm going to say that again you know that yes, talents yes. are the naturally reoccurring patterns of thought feeling or behavior that can be productively applied, applied. so yeah. what happens is that talents exist naturally within us remember they they are in it they are there you know as you you know and how, how we are formed so Sorry, I think I've run ahead of myself. So there's a core of us now, and this core is influenced by either our environment, our education, <clears throat> our exposure, and our experience. So what forms <clears throat> a, a Olusha today is by reason of several other things, by where he was born, by who has been exposed to, by what they are told him, by the myths he has been exposed to. So somehow there are certain things that has also clogged, you know, uh, my full manifestation up until the time when I start to come into an awareness of what I have within me, which is naturally reoccurring, which I point us to, hey, this guy has talents, okay? Talents hmm. exist naturally within us. Now, these are like patterns, you know, um, that, you know, make us effective. So it, I, I'm sure we, we hear, we see um, Lady Ejiro, we call her energetic Ejiro. You know, it's it, this behavior or this pattern is what makes her effective. Is And it's something that is exclusive to her, okay? Absolutely. Yes, you can have it in different other persons, but for her, 
you can already begin to distinguish that, hey, there's some vibe around this lady, that there's a behavioral pattern, you know, that makes her effective, okay? Now, you know, thought patterns also, this same thing you see that probably also makes her efficient, okay? Uh, and there's a way she feels, okay? And I'm using her as an example, the moderator, Lady Ejiro, you know, that look, there are also the beliefs that it empowers her to succeed. So sometimes she just has to move in a direct way uh, for you to know that this is um, this is Lady Ejiro. Now, talents are also attitudes that sustain our efforts, okay, towards hmm. achievement and excellence. Um, you know, uh, they, they help us, you know, drive towards achievement and excellence. So you find out that people will only be wired to move positively in the things that they naturally have flair, they have a natural flair for, okay? Now, motivation that propels you to take action and maintain the energy needed to achieve uh, anything in life is tied to your talent, uh, you, you, you know, and, and, you know, I hope I can, I hope I'm, I'm making some sense here. Okay. A lot uh, of sense, sir. Okay. A lot of sense. Yes. Okay. okay. Yes. So now for anybody that is on set, because you, you know, these are like before tests, before we had diagonistic tests. Uh, so I, I'm sure, and I don't know if any of you uses a car, uh, there's what you call a brain box. Now, before mm. the brain box era, uh, what happened was that if you went to a mechanic, so I went to the University of Ibadan, uh, and uh, I had a 505 SR there, and if my car had an issue, uh, I would go to, let's say, Jinodu, and I would wait on Jinodu to hear me crank or make a sound with the car, uh, and then Jinodu would tell me, ah, bros, I think it's the, it's, the, it's the rotor, or I think it's the, this one and that one. But as time moved on, um, cars of today have what we call a brain box. So if you needed to find out what was wrong with your car, you drive your car into the workshop and then they insert certain things and they're able to diagonize what is wrong what is with wrong? the car with specificity. Okay. So yeah. now, so beyond the test, I, I believe that for anybody attending the night school, should also be able to even live here today. First of all, understanding that, okay, these are like glimpses of my talent. These are like glimpses of the things that they have shadowed or kept aside and that they've not allowed me to, you know, to thrive in. Express, so, huh. so, uh, yeah, so uh, are there things that, uh, there, so there are traces or, or evidences of talent. So what, what, what would you call these evidences? There are things that you do without even thinking, okay, uh, that you can do them automatically. In fact, when they wake you up, uh, there are things that you can easily begin to do. Okay, mm -hmm. there are things that you have passion or yearning for. Okay, ever since I can remember, okay, I've always loved to be with people. Okay, I've always loved to be with women. You know, initially when I did not know it, they used to call me woman rapper, but I didn't know that it was actually a calling. Okay, <laughs> yes, for those that are from Africa, there's what, from Nigeria, there's what we call woman rapper. Now, it wasn't look, I had a passion to be around women. Why I was introduced to women, how. My twin, I'm a twin. My twin sister, my twin is a, a lady. A lady. Huh? So I was in the womb with a woman for nine months. Wow. I was raised by a single parent, okay? Obviously, all the friends that came around were women. The women. Now, can you imagine how that has influenced me? You remember I told you experience, exposure, education, you know, and the environment. Now, all of that also helped nurture my passion. Now, it was just my natural habitat. It was just by virtue of the exposure I'd been to, the, the environment I was raised up in. So, in, initially, I did not know the purpose of that, mm -hmm. you know, that, you know, that exposure. Well, like it, it but I realized that I had a passion there, you know, and in that passion, uh, I started to also want to operate naturally. Okay. Now, when I didn't know, I was just behaving anyhow. Okay. Uh, I was cajoling girls of easy virtue, misplaced value. But as soon as I came in tandem with this understanding that, hey, this is a talent or this is a strength, I started to galvanize uh, my attention around it. And that led me to also even build like uh, an institution for women, you know, and I started to understand me, that, oh, I have no role to <laughs> Absolutely. Let me, let me come in there quickly. Just let us dwell on this just a little bit. Now you said something. 
you said you 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 noticed like you started to say ah, I, I i love to be around women but yes. because you weren't clear as to the mm. fact that this is a calling this is an assignment you almost mm. misused that opportunity right by yes, just yes. you said just now by yourself said misplaced value at yes. what point you know did you then discover it what led to the discovery like okay this is not just you f- needing to fly around that you know feel land around with women yeah. but there is yeah. an assignment for you yeah. what what happened to you for you to now realize oh let me you know put the value in the place it's supposed to be okay so one of the things one of the pointers was the fact that i never really uh, caught ties with any of the ladies i dated number one and wow. for the ladies that I didn't date, or and for whatever it is, even if they, they became married, they all still kept in touch and they were asking for counsel. Okay, oh. now there was one shocking experience I had uh when I was in church with my wife, uh, and yes, that woman is a wonderful woman, she's tolerated my you know inadequacies, but yeah. So I was in church. <laughs> so we're just being real here now. <laughs> we're just being real here. So Absolutely. I was in church Absolutely. that Absolutely. day uh, a very long time ago. And a woman approached me. And she says, look, madam, you need to excuse your husband because I need to speak with him. It's quite urgent. And, um, you know, the only reason why I was, I also wasn't agitated was because it was in church. Okay. But she truly needed attention. And she... I write that, and then my wife was by the side, and I was counseling, you know. And then I just realized that, hey, this thing is actually real. And at that point, my wife just had to accept me for, you know, this is this guy, you know, this is this guy. Uh, you know, but I don't know if that bless her for us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so let me yes, move to carry on, sir. Yes, so please. there are traces of the evidences of your talents, okay, and so. What do you have rapid learning for? So you, as we are talking right now, you know, there are, hmm. people have come up with learning styles. There are people that have visual learning styles, auditory learning styles, all kinds of styles. But there are some things that by the time we start to talk about them, they interest you so much that you rapidly learn about them effortlessly. It just gets into you. That's a pointer to your area of interest. Okay? Um how how do you feel? You know, sometimes there are some things or places or things you do or where you go that you just feel the happiest. Okay, maybe you just gone visiting, maybe you went uh, chaperoning, maybe you went on a compare assignment. Those things also are an indicator, okay, of the talents that you exude or that resides within you. Um, then what do you do excellently well? Okay, um, you, you know, you see, you see, look. Those days where you hear, uh, I'm a, uh, so we had people that used to debate in, in school, fellow de- uh, co-debaters, timekeeper. <laughs> you know, there were people that would, would just flow, 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 flow. <laughs> And you would understand what I'm saying. They, they were able to communicate, okay? And it was such that they did it exceptionally well. Now, imagine if they were trying to make you that you couldn't, yeah, even though, so, and I'm going to get into that shortly, as to how your talents now can also be nurtured but you must develop skills, okay? But let, let me hand that down. So there are about six So six things. Uh, I've talked about five. The sixth one is compliments. Wherever you constantly get compliments is an indicator of your evidences of your talents. So what are strengths in itself, okay? Strengths are the ability to consistently provide near-perfect performance in a given activity. So before... We say that again. We say that again. Yes, the ability to consistently provide near perfect performance in a given activity. Hmm. Please somebody to that? capture that in the comments the ability so that can, everybody can to consistently it. you know your ability to consistently provide near perfect performance in a given activity is what we call your strengths. Okay? The other thing you could also use to describe your strengths is that A strength enables and equips you to do certain things very well. So that if it was, you know, um, so the the name of the fastest guy, what's the name of this fastest guy? Usain Bolt. Usain Bolt. You know, it it, it just is strength because there's a way he's wired that if if you were supposed to judge Usain Bolt as to his academic, you know, um, prowess, 
you would have missed it, okay? But because he's able to do that excellently well, you know, you are able to see the difference. That's his strength. Now, the third thing is that strength grows from our natural talents. Remember, I said the talents are in it, but when we start to nurture and identify those things, because now we're talking about disco discovering your genius or unlocking your genius, is that at the point where you start to see those traces and you start to probe deep down, and that's what will lead you to taking any of those tests. So I have done most of the tests until I finally settled down my bus stop at the Gallup Strength Gallop Finder. Strength. And mm. it was after I did my test, you know, at that year, that immediately I said, wow, I need to, you know, a lot of people need to know about this. And that, mm. that was what made me to go and certify, you know, uh, as a Gallup Strength coach. Okay, coach, so like wonderful. I said, strengths grow from a natural talent. So while they can be developed, they cannot be acquired. Remember, mm. so, say it again, so, say it again, yeah. please, please, please. This time, don't get drop so, that again. Yeah, yeah, let me try and remember. So, like, stress why they can be developed, they, they cannot, cannot be, be acquired. acquired. Wow, yes, you know, you can so you you develop your strength, but you cannot acquire. And I, I'm going to tell you what I mean by that, you know. But so, for for once, well, you come to the point where you start to understand your strengths, you remember that. Your strengths need to be invested in. So, like I said, your talents are innate. And once you start to invest in them, they become strengths. But what happens naturally is that yeah. you don't just leave it as strengths, all right? We don't just leave it as strengths. You know, you improve with skills, with knowledge, and with effort. Okay? So... It's all about sharpening the saw, okay? And, and I, I'm sure a few people will be familiar with the seven habits of highly effective people by Stephen Covey, you know, the sharpening of the saw, okay? So once you have identified, I, I, am I here? Are you hearing me? Yes, Coach please. Agent? Yes, okay. yes, so, yes. But one so, minute before you, I'm so sorry to bring you back, right? Yeah, Just yeah. because it's a school we are in, yes? So we yeah. are allowed this is not a conference. Mm. This is school. <laughs> we are allowed okay, to bring so. you back as our, you know, as a student and you, the teacher, to say, sir, please, can you take that again? Just before you mm. go into, you know, explaining the strengths and uh, how we can turn our talents into strengths. I love that what you said, you know, that, you know, when your talents are in it, but when you begin to invest in them, they become strengths. I love it. But please, you said something before we jumped into this particular section. And I just want to quickly capture that. You mentioned six things you know, about, you know, your, that's about our talents. The you traces, know, how do you trace? Traces. Yes, yes. Could you just, just recap quickly the six pointers? Okay. Have been covered. The, yeah. What are those things that you, uh, you are complimented over? Okay. What are those things that you do exceptionally well or you perform excellently in? What are those things that you are happiest when you do them? What are those things that you can learn rapidly? What are those things that you exude passion for? You know, as in there's a yearning when you when you get there almost. And that was the example I gave around um, me also loving to be around women. And mm. then what are those things you can do automatically without thinking? Those are the six indicators or traces of the evidences of the talents that you exude. And once you start to identify these talents you can immediately start to invest in them. Once you start to invest in them, then you start to talk about strengths. Strengths. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Please go on, sir. Okay. So, like I said, the so once you identify what are strengths, strengths are... So, if we're supposed to do a, 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 a quadratic... No, not a quadratic equation. A multiplying uh, <laughs> or a mathematical equation. Equation, would have okay. Talent times investment. Uh, and, you know... Talents, we already had identified the traces of talents. Mm -hmm. So, what are the investments you need to make? So, I would have put A plus B plus C. So, in that bracket of what talent, of what investment is, it would have been skill, that's A. The other thing would have been B, that's knowledge, plus mm. what? Efforts, that's practice. Mm. That's practice. I don't know. Can I say that again? Please so, do. Please do. We need that um, equation. Talent 
So strength is equals to talent times investment. Now, okay. when they say find investment, what does investment <laughs> comprise of? You now say A plus B plus C. What is A? A is skills. What is B? B is knowledge. What is C? C is effort. All right? That's what comprises of talent times investment. So once you've identified your talent, okay, as to what are those things that you are good at, you now start to find out what you need to do to broaden, all right, your kind of expertise along those lines. You start to find out insights, new understanding, new knowledge to be able to improve yourself. That's where we start to talk about update and upgrade. Then you start to practice those things because it's it's uh, foolish for you to know about something uh, and not be able to deploy it. So your ability to start to deploy it in terms of practice and effort over time, then we can start to talk about mastery. So mm. it starts first with a discovery of yourself, a development of your strengths, it's and good. then a deployment oh. of your strengths. Try, try, discovery, try. Please take it again. Take it again. Take it again. A discovery. Again. So good. A deployment, mm -hmm. and then a deploy. A, 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 a discovery, a development, a and then a deploy. Discovery, development, and then deployment. Did you get that? Fantastic. We got it. Yeah. We got it. So, Thank you. So, discovery, and so development, us, and deployment. And then deployment. All right. So for us, in in, in the so the collegiate of the Gallup certified coaches, there's what we call it, name it. So the point of discovery is called naming it. All right. And and for those that will be part of this uh, bonus, because there's a bonus I'm giving, uh, courtesy of the night school, uh, where we've said, look, if you are doing the strength test, if you are doing the strength test, um, I'm going to give you an onboarding, personal onboarding session, at least for 30 minutes. Once you Thank just you. decide to do the the, the strength test and it will okay. cost you a few a few a few but that is free that's added to to ensure that you can immediately start to move your life in a faster direction so let me awesome. move let me move awesome please go on let me move now the key to success is to fully understand how to apply your greatest talents and strengths in your everyday life and you know this is one great struggle that people are faced with you see you see, when people focus on using their strengths, okay, they are three times likely to report excellent quality of life than those that don't know their strengths. And mm. for those that are able to know their strengths and focus using focus on anything that they're doing using their strengths, they are six times likely to be engaged in either of their career, in their field, or in their terrain. So, you see, let me tell you something. Guess what? If you don't know about this thing, we're not saying you cannot try it. And we're not saying you cannot also stumble into it. Because after all, a lot of people have stumbled into these it things. But we're saying that, yeah. why must you take time? You know, it's almost like using the analogy of a car. Uh, there's something wrong with the car. Why must you go through that horror and rigor of trial and error? You see, the, your life is so complex right now. And the era that we're in, you know, which uh, I, I honestly wanted to talk about, was about the reinvention era, was that things have now gone so fast that the, the rate of the acceleration of change is moving so rapidly now that even at this stage, if we don't check it, we'll be competing against, a, you know, machines. Now, you need to already begin to know your superiority quotient in terms of how well are you, en you know, enabled or enamored to be able to respond to change. Hmm. Look, we have gone through an era where it was okay to have emotional intelligence, okay? We are in an era where it's okay to, you know, move beyond the... In so, intelligence quotient, that was the first era. We moved to, into emotional, emotional uh, um, intelligence. Uh, and then we started to talk about, you know, the, the need to, you know, brace up for change. But you see, there's this era that we're in now is called the reinvention era, where your ability to immediately reinvent yourself mm. is, will now be a required norm, a quotient. Because, you see, as you are thinking, you are going to be competing. In fact, 
let me drop this now. Just this is not to scare anyone. Do you know that humans are going to be hacked? We are already being hacked. And I don't hmm. know if John can even lean on to this discussion because you know John seems to be savvy about some of these things. But hmm. humans are already being hacked. So for what do I mean by humans are already being hacked? In the sense that do you know now that they, they have studied your mannerism, the things you check on on your devices oh, to the extent right. that right. they can predict what you what would go wrong and what you will not take you know so when people have had him go on some shows and talk about um you know um adverts on on online adverts right now how how have they been able to come up with exactitude who to focus on is that they started to predict remember the feelings the behavior and you know the lifestyle of those people, people. you know hmm. that go online they are man you know they are humans have been hacked so guess what if you are not re, if you don't even know yourself well enough you'll be told what you are not, it's not. <laughs> hmm. so, i don't i don't look i won't even go into that today i won't even go i just thought look for those that know their strengths they are most likely three times likely to do live an excellent quality life or six times likely to be engaged in whatever they are doing and they will hmm. be able to perform better than those that are not you know not working sure. in their strength. Hmm. you know hmm. you know so what and that's why it's important and that's why it's important now i, I don't know um do we want to quickly do a, a kind of poser um you know i usually have wanted to ask a few questions please go ahead time? Do yes, please go time? ahead. We can we okay. can ask a question before we go on. Yes, please. Okay. So so um, wh when we say we should start with talents, okay, and end with um, strengths. Strengths. Uh, mm. what, what I what, what what we're trying to talk about was that everyone in every instance we have several things that they are like four domains, okay. Uh, so from from the methodology that we operate with, uh, I work with. Um, the four domains and those four domains, uh, and I'm going to be dropping the typical talents or the typical strengths in those domains. And I don't know how. Um, so maybe um, uh, Coach Ejiro, you just let me know which one people are responding to the most. The most. Okay, so no problem. There are, there are four domains. There's the executing domain. There's the influencing domain. There's the relationship building domain. And there's the strategic thinking domain. Take like again, me, please. yeah, okay. There's the executing domain. Mm -hmm. There's the influencing domain. There's the relationship building domain. And then there's the strategic thinking domain. Now, unlike Maya Briggs that focuses on information and decision, and then they have the, you know, the, the that quadrant, the, the strength methodology, you know, also has four domains, okay? Uh, and then we now have over 34, that we have exactly 34 strengths, okay? So, Tai um, Olusha Adekwaju, sorry, I keep calling myself, I used to be called Taiwo. Now, Olusha Adekwaju, you know, I move with strategic thinking. Okay. I live with strategic thinking. But let, let me tell you my top five strengths. And that's why... You must know these things because the day you know it, you start to live your life more effectively. Hmm. The the top my my top the first of my top five strengths is strategic. That's the f number one. Number two is command. You see, when I didn't know about command, I was cultivating enemies every day. You know, a strength like command is a strength that gives you presence. Hmm. Now. For those that don't know, when you get into the, this command is supposed to be activated only when there's crisis or indecisiveness. Hmm. So when I didn't know that strength, I was commanding at home. I was always in, Come for the, my first five years of marriage was hell. You know, I've been married for almost 17 years now, so don't worry. Now, I was commanding at the office. It was, it was, I, everybody said, are you the only one? Because hmm. I wanted to take charge. I, anywhere I found myself in any society, I was just having enemies because you see that they say I too know it's too much or this one. But you see, the reality is that look, 
It's foolish to live your life and say this is the way that you are. It's foolish. It's reckless behavior. It's, so it's mm. almost like turning down the volume. For instance, it's 2 a.m. at night or wherever you are in the world or maybe it's about uh, 12 midnight and I start to blare the horn. I would like to say, is the way I am? No. What we're saying is that <laughs> you're you must know how. <laughs> yes, you'll be a nuisance. So the, the, at times I was I was just there for my, I would be called an infernal nuisance because I always wanted to be in charge. Hmm. But as soon as I started to know about my strength, I said, hey, the number two command, I know when to use it. It's wow. only when there's crisis, uh, when there's indecision. That's when you activate you remember it. Now, was that, yes, and I will now activate it. Okay, the third one is significance. I don't do anything mm. that is small. I don't know how to. Before, you know, we sit down in a room, people are thinking small. I'm already telling them, hey, hey this is how we're going to do it. And this, uh, people look at me like, can we, you know, one of my. Can we start talking, small? Yeah, it was like, you, you want to do Africa. Can we even start with uh, Abuja? What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> you know? And that's it. Because if you don't know your strength, somehow somebody can almost you shut you down. Off your... Yes. Absolutely. So you need to know hmm. your strength. So the, the third one is significance for me. Wow. The fourth one is deliberative. So I deliberate a lot, you know. But the downside of the... Because for all of these strengths, there are also the downsides of the strengths. Downside. That's why you also hmm. must master your strengths. Okay? You know, I talked talk to you about the, the excess of that strength. But there's also the downside of that strength. So with the deliberative, guess what? At some point, I'm also always pondering, should I proceed or should I not oh, proceed? Yeah. And then people and it visually makes you call analysis, paralysis. paralysis. Hmm. Do you understand? Okay? So it's because I now have an understanding. I know what to do immediately. Now, the third, the fifth one is learner. I love to learn. Okay, I love to learn. So now let's let's experiment. I want to start dropping some strengths. The there are thirty four of them it spread around four domains. Um, I will mention one now under the executive. Does anybody have discipline? Does anybody believe that they are disciplined? Does anybody believe that if they you are have disciplined? Discipline. If you have discipline, you have please discipline. type. Dis if you believe you are disciplined, please type disciplined and as we're doing this please let me just plug this in guys this has i've been seeing the comment this is fantastic this is a great session i'm seeing the fire emoji where are our offerings please where is the offering the offering basket is going around right now please drop your offerings okay if you know that this has been amazing so far please drop your offerings fantastic so if you feel like you are disciplined type the word discipline please go on sir Okay, so so let, let me even run now. So execute. So under executing, I'm going to drop all the the strengths under executing, and okay. anyone that resonates with you, just drop it. The one that the resonates with you. Okay, under I'll executing, stop. you have achiever. Under executing, you have arranger. Under executing, hmm. you have belief. You have a strong belief in whatever you are doing. Under executing. You are deliberative, just like I explained with myself earlier on. Hmm. Under executive, you are consistent. You have consistency as a strength. Under executive, you have focus. Hmm. Under executing, you have responsibility. And under executing, you have restorative. So hmm. anyone that resonates with any of you, is anybody giving me anything there? Yes, yes. You somebody know? says this. Somebody says arranger. Somebody says deliberative oh, wait, and belief. Somebody says okay. achiever. We have strong. So you, you can already start belief. to see, you know, we are doing trial and error on you. You have not done the test, though, but we can see that you have some traits around executing. <laughs> now, you also have influencing. So, under influencing, you know, there's a difference between executing and influencing. Under influencing, you have activator, you have command. All right. You have communication. I'm sure uh, Coach Ejiro is under communication there. You have competition. Yeah. <laughs> you have uh, maximizer. You have self-assurance. You have significance. And you have woo, W-O-O, -O, winning others over. Let me tell you something about mm. this winning others over. I love that one. Let me tell you something about this winning others over. Do you know, 
this tool is also applicable. It's not just for life. It's also for marriage. It's also for your children. So I told you part of the reasons why the first five years of my marriage was hell wasn't because of my misdemeanor or, or non-challenge. It was because I did not have uh, an understanding of my wife's strengths. Mm, right? wow. See, my, my wife's number one strength is winning others over. Woo. So if we go into a restaurant, now, and, and, now, now this is open confession now, and you know, and I've overcome all of this. So guess what? Because then I used to cajole girls of easy virtue, and maybe I take them to one restaurant here or take them out on, you know, and all of that. When I didn't understand when my wife just wants to know the name of the waiter. I didn't understand that it was mm. her own strength that was at work. She wanted to know the name of the person that opened the door. But because of my mi mischief, I always felt mm. that, why does she want to know? <laughs> why does she want to know? <laughs> when she's trying to be close to my driver, I'm wondering, must you be, why do you, why must you, when she's trying were you, to were you, give this, were you thinking, Jonathan, that this woman is too suspicious. This, what's wrong with this woman? <laughs> she's trying to give, give to, I said, give to your wife. I said, is that a way of trying to know about where I go or where I do not go? So you see that, but later I now realize that wow, wow ooh, this is has eye ooh. opening, really. Has, this, this gift is, is to be others over. She can greet the mm. gate man, get the number, give them gifts, and then that's that's influencing. Okay, let's move on to relationship building. So if you are in that relationship building, because you are you are able to operate in all of these domains, but there are some that are predominant. So we have. Um, adaptability, we have connectedness, we have developer, we have empathy, we have harmony, includer, individualization, positivity, and relator. Okay? Are we good? Hmm. I, I hope we're good. Yes, sir. I'm about to round up yes. now. And then we have strategic. That one, eh? That's the strategic one I love. Thinking. Hmm. Strategic thinking. And with strategic thinking, <laughs> You know, you you have analytical. You know, hmm. you have context. So when they when some people say no, can I get the context of what you are saying? You know, you start hmm. to you, you know that when you get into a room, uh, and then I'm sure uh, what we call J O yeah now John oh, yeah we call him Papa B. Sorry, is it the Bishop of the House? Daddy J O. <laughs> Daddy J O. <laughs> Daddy J O will definitely have futuristic. You know, because it's only someone that is Absolutely. futuristic that will be doing. You know, so there's futuristic under strategic thinking. There's ideation, mm. constantly thinking under strategic thinking. There's input, intellection, learner, and strategic under strategic thinking. So now you you are you've been seeing the comments. You know, let's know now where where do so these we people have just call out the name? You have a lot of people, right, telling us yeah. where they are, where they are yes, waiting from. We have a lot of um, adaptation. We have empathy. I see adaptability. I see empathy. I see context. Um, let me scroll up again. Influencing, you know, under some of the ones you called before, relationship building. Mm. Um, yeah. I see woo. Somebody actually said woo. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you I see a couple of woos. Yes. yes. I see self-assurance. All right. Yes. I see um, command, self-assurance, yeah. communication, arranger, communication, arranger. Deliberative, discipline, consistent, consistency, winning others over communication. Yeah, so we have a couple under the different um, four domains. Okay, so you know what? I think this this is a good place to even stop. You know why? Because when we go beyond this point, then it becomes is no longer this your teaching school. We start to do proper coaching. And then okay. we need to have done that. Test, I know. think this is but... where we will start to take <laughs> questions. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Coach um, Lucia. Um, This has been a very, very eye-opening session. And especially, you know, when you, you know, just knowing that it is best, you know, like you said, we've been programmed to always look for what is wrong with us which is our weaknesses. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, what is... So let me work on my weakness so that I can be better. Meanwhile, mm -hmm. there's this strength you have mm -hmm. that if you put the same amount of effort into 
getting mastery on that strength, you will go mm. farther than trying to work on your weaknesses. Absolutely. Absolutely. And it's just, it's just amazing. I love one of the comments that came up earlier saying, wow, I've all along I've been thinking, oh, I know my talent, but I don't even know how or where to start. Now I know that I need to put in the effort, you know. And some of the nuggets that you dropped here, that's just fantastic. So, guys, um, this would be a good time to start taking questions. I'm sure that the might pop up at any minute now. But before he does that, please, if you have questions, <laughs> John Obidi says, Bishop we need... saying, we need women over. <laughs> Lord have mercy. The bishop has spoken. <laughs> the All right, bishop so... has spoken his own strength. <laughs> I'm telling you, like it comes effortlessly to him. We know that that the jail pink lips tints. We know. <laughs> Alabi Israel, Alabi Israel is asking, why can strength only be developed and not acquired? Love it. Like we said earlier on, the the strengths are an announcement of your talents. Okay, so the talents are in it. They are already part of you. Remember that formula we gave that strength is equals to talent times investment mm. okay so if you don't already have the talent all right how, how then do you want to you it's, it's it's such that that equation is not balanced you must be resident there you know you must be so i've used those analogies of you must be a fish first to know that you can you know now but guess what guys there are some strengths and all of those strengths and that's why I, I I was careful to show you that. Okay, no, I, I wasn't able to show you, but I hope I painted into your your mind mind frame the the fact that you have a talent. Now, for instance, you have a strength called communication. Hmm. In this day and era, and maybe I'll, I'll share some ten key skills you must have. In this day and era, it's also important that you have certain skills. Absolutely. So, for instance, remember, analytical is a strength. But does that stop you from your strength of numeracy? Hmm. Communication is a strength. But does that stop you from the skill of interpersonal relationship or public speaking? Hmm. So don't, hmm. don't say, ah, they said we can't acquire. That's not what I'm saying. The skills can be acquired, but the talents cannot. So there's a way that, even though I'm speaking this way, I'm not a born communicator. I had to, had to go train. through some training. All right? But hmm. that is, that, that's even not from the point of it. So I can only operate at best based on the fact that I'm living my own best life now. If I was doing something, even if I was the best communicator, I would still be struggling trying to communicate it with you. Now, I'm able to give mm. you examples that are related with me because it's a passion. It's something I love to do. It's, so my natural habitat is to be in a classroom, all right? And when I say classroom, I'm saying, yeah, with the executives, you know, with young men and women, I'm saying, can we personally develop ourselves? Can we reinvent ourselves? You see me firing on all mm. servos. You know, even right now, if you guys say this is stretching till 3 a.m., I'm on because this you're is going off. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's mm. it. But also, I've also developed the skill. I've to developed the knowledge. Mm. I've also developed the effort. Okay. But it's because I need it to be able to move on in line with my, my strategic as to. First, uh, I'm strategic significance, and then with mm. what I've learned. So, you see, your understanding of your strengths also helps you to be able to apply your strengths or aim your strengths appropriately. So, remember, mm. it's not every time that you have that strength or that you use that strength. Just like I told you about command. It's not every time I use command. You know, I can get into a yeah. class and I'll use command. That's what your understanding of your strengths enables you to be able to do. Just for you. And mm. that's you why... You and that's you. Yes. And that's like your own gift. 
In fact, let's not even get too spiritual here now. You know, the parable of the talents is not that. Um, no, let me not go there. Let me not. Let me just leave it at that. Let, let me go there. Go, go there. Go there. Please. Go. No. 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 Go there. Go there. Go there. See, go. All, okay. <laughs> I'm all, using command now. <laughs> come on. Yeah. We all we all have strengths and we have capacity. So there's content. There's capacity. All right. We boil confidence. Let me say that again. There's the content, all right? Mm. You know, then the capacity, all right? And that boils our confidence. So everybody, by the time you come to a conscious understanding of what you have, it increases you or en uh, boils you or enables you to be able to own more or do more. Because Absolutely. somehow we cannot fully understand ourselves. We are constantly discovering ourselves. Constantly mining and mining ourselves, constantly mm. discovering ourselves. Awesome, so awesome. once you <clears throat> go on, sir. Yeah. So as we as we do this constantly, so look at the parable of the talent. So the guy that did not have had one, he did not understand that all he needed to do was discover, develop, and deploy, and deploy that deploy that talent. one. That's one. That's one. That one, if that one was to be dancing, it would have been dancing Palongo, even though dancing is not, it would have been dancing his way to wealth. Absolutely. That's what we're talking exactly, about. yes. You know, because we're not just talking it, about it, talent. Probably it's could have talent. Been, not, it could have been a yes. team gesture or something. Yes. And, you know, it was, was it uh, Madden Luda that was saying that if you are the best sweeper, sweep so well better that sweep they will know so that well. what, they once leave the sleeper, a sweeper. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's hmm. what we're talking about now. We're saying that yeah, there's a way you're going to deploy your strength to the extent that hey, is a talent and it will start to multiply. So yes. you talked about what's in both now. We did not talk about his academic qualification now. There's the uh, Nadal now. Nadal, we didn't have to talk about his uh, academic qualification now. There are singers that we know, Beyonce, uh, and all of them. We don't have to talk. We, Everybody has their strengths. So imagine if everybody was living to their strengths. In fact, uh, the, the, in those days, they, they would group people based on their capacity. Hmm. Okay? Even before the industrial era, before we started to produce people as factory laborers, you know, this old system is to position us to work it to uh, whatever. You know, that's and that's what I started with. Do you understand? <laughs> Just go and walk. Don't argue. Then break mm. time. This You're time. Told what to do. Not what, told what, they don't even, and once don't you start think. to behave like you might not be able to sit down, they say you're restless. They cut you off, yeah. They cut mm. you off. They shut you down. Hmm. They shut you down. I you know, see, there's too many things to there's two. It's, it's I don't lot. want to it's a lot. Okay, then so, I'll start to branch off into other things. So any <laughs> other question. A lot, a lot of questions are coming in, but also the the Zoom the Zoom um, link has been posted on the can you can see it on the on the screen, so you can call yes. in and you'll be brought up on stage to ask your question. But while we wait for anybody to come in, I'll just pick a random question from the comment section. Somebody says, "How do we?" This is Zim Zim Simon says, "How do we discern difference in people and effectively collaborate to produce winning systems?" Okay, <laughs> you see, let me tell you something. Eh? Once you've come, it's not about discerning. That, that's why the level of organizations, uh, it, so the Fortune 500 companies, you know, uh, what they are doing, most of them are embracing this. The American uh, uh, military is embracing the strengths based philosophy. What are they doing is that once you start to know, once you introduce strength into an organization, into a school, into a family, into a church or anything, what happens is that in that team, everybody is conscious of their strength. Mm. And once you start to become aware of your strengths, you start to appreciate the difference. Yeah, because that way you now know, okay, so now, remember now, it was because of my appreciation my awareness of my own strength and the awareness of my wife's strength yes, as winning on the door, I was able to now appreciate it. I will not say, what's doing this one? 
Now, so sometimes, how do we talk to ourselves in strength language? Sometimes she says, hmm, bros, your commanding, yeah, your command is I. Ah, we'll I love it. it. Do you understand? Madam, hmm, yeah, your, your woo, 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 this woo. Is woo. <laughs> woo. <laughs> it's turning to a woo. <laughs> now, woo eh, nah, nah, wow, this woo, who are you woo, you know? Then, you, then because abuse, when the purpose of a thing is not known, abuse is abuse inevitable. Is so, you know, even with your strength, it must be targeted. So that's where I also wanted to go to because when you have, so someone say, I want all this thing about strength now. I beg, um, if you have a plan now, for instance, you have a 90-day 90 day, 90 day plan. We are like 70, mm -hmm. how many days to the end of the year now? You already have a plan. There's a way you can aim eh, Lisa, your plan mm. with using your strengths. Using your mm. strengths to aim that plan and achieve what you call widely important goals. Hmm. It's a methodology I use that you can achieve your widely important goals by aiming your strengths appropriately wow. towards your plan. So you're not just braving anyhow. Okay? Hmm. So, hmm. yeah. So that, that's... Awesome. So your awareness of your... And even if you're friends, you have not done it in a team, what, what you need to understand is that because you have become aware of yourself... You can, you can now, spot the choices. You now know that everybody is also operating at there. So you can easily say, okay, no wonder. Maybe that's why she's behaving that way. And then people mm. say you're matured. Because, do you understand? It's because you are able to say, oh, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. I love do you it. It's what more I'm like, saying? yeah, it's more like understanding your temperament. So, yes. and, but just knowing that these temperaments exist. So when you see a flag as a sanguine, you're not yes. angry anymore that the person is not jumpy like you. You're like, oh, okay. absolutely. This person is flag, so it's okay. I understand. Or this person is choleric, so it's your boss. And you're like, okay, this person is not out for me. This boss is not out to get me. This is just the person that they are. Uh, and it helps exactly. you work best. Fantastic. Awesome. You just can't be. Let, let me even take this a bit home, man. Eh? So when I did my disc test, and apparently I did it... Um, I was attending a program at uh, Daystar in Lagos, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. they called me out. They said, uh, sir, they, that they wanted to know the owner of this uh, assessment. <laughs> assessment. I said, so I came out and said, I have D and I. They said, wow, it's, it's very rare. Dominant. And that anybody that has an influencing role. And I was able to match it with my strength test the top mm. five, and even all my 34 in the order of ranking. By the time wow. I compared the notes, I now realized that, like I was telling you, the disc took me to the location, mm, but the strength you. took me into the house. But I, I was now able to now start to develop myself. Let me even ask there. I was going to ask earlier when you mentioned the disc, because I'm sure, I, I don't know, I'm guessing some people will be like, what is disc mm. again? What is this mm. one again? So when you want to start, I mean, for the longest time, that the jail mm. has always talked about 16 personalities, which is like, mm. you know, one of the very easiest one because it's free. Mm. You can easily go yeah. for it. At least it gives yes. you an idea of your mm. strength. But from you, what would you say is the first or the go-to place? If somebody has said, I've not taken any personality test before, where can I start? What would your suggestion or recommendation See, be? You know, I said I've been everywhere. If you want a free service, there are a pletoria, like Tons and free, you understand? And mm -hmm. there's everything with free. It can also lead you free. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, so, free for so, Yes, you understand what I'm saying. But it will at least, you're at least better off than somebody that did not even do anything. Do you understand what I'm saying? Uh -huh. You know, and please, this is not to disparage any of those tests. They are unique. Yes. Mm. So, you know, but what I'm saying is that why go for why are you going up and down? Like when guessing. somehow, yes, and they are now, you know, I've like I've I've given you a background and something to help you, you know. So why do you want to go elsewhere? Do the gallop strength. Let's have your debrief. Start to chat yourself on the right level, and then if you are not making any progress, report to uh, Bishop so that <laughs> he can get your refund for you. And then what are we talking about? 
and then sorry for wasting your time. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Daddy J was catching crews in the comment section. <laughs> Yeah, so I've, I've, been, I've been on vacation just enjoying the lesson and contributing my little quota in the, in the comments. I'm, I'm, I'm sure they enjoyed my antics there. I mean, guys, didn't you? <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so, so much. This has been uh, fantastic. I have learned so much myself. I personally am going to be watching this replay over and over again. We have learned so, so much. So just before uh, we wind this up, um, I would like Olusha here to, uh, before we take any other questions, I would like him to talk about um, a particular premium um, assessment that he has. I know we've talked about a number of them. And, um, we talked about Gallops, Disc Assessment, we talked about um, 16 Personalities. But there is one that um, Olusha here, Adik Boju, is licensed in that is very specific and has a near perfect success rate so let's hear about it um Olusha. and i know you know I've, I've been talking about 16 personalities for a while and so some people have done it and all that but um there is this one that Olusha is going to introduce to us now he'll tell us a little bit about it and why it is considered superior and how we here can get access to it through him awesome thank, thank you so much you know and just to reiterate as we've been saying this particular test you know would give you it's more of specificity as to how to enter the house okay uh, like no 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 test can give you 100 percent accuracy as to who you are okay but this takes you at least 99 percent into the home all right and then you can now start to know where you want to put your seat your chair uh, your table and all of that now the gallop test as you know it's well in tune in the sense that over time, it's been nursed, uh, you know, from positive psychology. There's a man we call um, Clifton, Donald Clifton. is the man that brought about this old thought. And this has gone all over. It says that over, uh, as, as we speak now, over 32 million people in the world have been tested. Okay? Uh, and this is like your DNA. So on, unlike the DNA where the DNA, you know, you might not be able to find the same person having the same dna uh this the strength dna says that you your sequence of strengths is one in 32 million people wow do you understand what i'm saying it's so the sequence of your strength that means that like for for instance i've i've given you the order of my strengths strategic command significance deliberative and learner the sequence can only come in that order you know in in that same order you cannot see it just like that and mm. ima imagine how unique that is now unlike the other tests you could see the sequencing the character strength the maya briggs you know which entails the 16 personality types and all uh even the character strengths like uh, by our leader uh professor seligman okay you know all of those tests would probably give you, you know, a cover. But I'm talking about when you want to really zoom in, you know, with specificity. And that's why I went on with that bus stop. Even when you do your disc, your disc will only tell you this and this. Don't do this. Or uh, you have flair to do this and all of that. But I'm telling you, with your strength test, even with what we've been doing all along now, we've been talking about analytical and all of that. I wish I could... Unfortunately, I can't share some things. You would have been, you would have seen the tons of documents you will get as to reading on you. You know, yeah. we're not talking about somebody coming up with a paper. You get your your full report, and then you will now be able to sit down and say, "Okay, how? To, no wonder, no wonder I've been behaving like this." Then, if you have that, and now I have someone to guide you through. So, one of the things we are doing with this premium offer, uh, and this is because of. The geo himself, you know, it's not every time we have the privilege of, you know, coming to a church like this and the man will allow us to <laughs> come and share with the, you know. So we say, okay, we'll we, we, we now, we now share this beyond the test. We will now give you a debrief, you know, a personalized debrief, you know, gratis, you know, just to ensure that at least to say thank you uh, to all those that would. You know, and I'm sure you have the links. We have the naira and the the dollar link if you're interested. You know. Awesome. 
Okay, so the Gallup assessment um, on its own, so right here on the screen, that is the Paystack link for those who are paying in Naira. So, um, Olusheri Adekboju has this link for the Gallup assessment, but what it means where it says 30 minutes, 30 minutes debrief is that once you have received your assessment, I mean, the assessment on its own is comprehensive. You can look at it and understand what your strengths are, what your weaknesses are, what your direction should be. But what Olushaya is doing is that he is adding a bonus whereby he is going to be actually debriefing you on what this means. It's kind of like a mini coaching so that you don't just have a report and you go and do some DIY. Like DIY means do it yourself. Um, what he's going to be doing is a done with you. D W Y done with you, and that's the that's what the thirty minutes debrief means. Okay, so it's a huge bonus. Normally, you go do your Gallup assessments or whatever assessments you're doing, and it's just a PDF report. I'm sure most of us here who have done those other assessments, we just got a PDF report, and whatever we saw there was open to interpretation. All right, but what we're going to be getting here is the Gallup assessments which is comprehensive and actionable on its own, but you're going to be getting the help of Olu Shaye, who is a certified Gallup Strengths Finders coach, all right? And he's going to be guiding you through it and giving you that debrief for 30 minutes. So just want, for you to understand what exactly is involved when you take him up on this offer. So that is the Naira link right there. And for those who wish to pay in foreign currency or US dollars, that's the link. So I want you guys to, as usual, make a screenshot so you can go to those URLs and make your commitments later. I'll go back to the Naira link again. That's the Naira link, the Gallup assessment with 30 minutes debrief. That's the Naira link. That's the URL there. Make a screenshot before I wipe off the board. Have you done that? All right. Have you done that? All right. I'll go back. Now, this is the USD link, the US dollar link. All right. I'll run through that again. The Gallup assessment, it's a DIY form that you just fill and it gives you your results. Those results are actionable. And I dare say that those, whatever you get from those results, you should take them as a manual for your life. You know, when you buy a refrigerator or a television, they, those appliances typically come with a manual, a user guide. All right. Now, we know how to get manuals and user guides for our phones, our appliances. But what is the user guide to you as a human being? We don't have that. That is what this assessment is. So from time to time, even if you do it today, you keep on coming back to it every month or every quarter or every year just so you can measure and can keep coming back to that assessment for guidance. So this is an investment you need to make in yourself. And for those of you who are parents, you need to make this investment in your children. You know, I don't know if it's still done in this day and age, but, you know, back when I was in primary school, I went to school with a lot of people who said, I'm going to be a doctor. And I said, why do you want to be a doctor? And I said, my father said, I'm going to be a doctor, period. I'm like, that was strange for me because... I came from a home where my dad let me do what I wanted to do as long as I came first in class anyway. <laughs> so he let me do he let me do whatever I wanted to do. But I was around a lot of people who were studying law because dad said you were going to be a lawyer or medicine because mom said you were going to be a doctor or an engineer because you have to carry on the family business. So there's a lot of people who didn't understand that they had to play to their strengths. And so many of people had to play outside of their genius domains. And so if you're a parent and you want to give your child that head start in life or that unfair, unique advantage, it would make sense for them to know their strengths very early. We look at the people that we celebrate all over the world, people like the Elon Musks, the Serena and Venus Williams sisters, um, um, Cristiano Ronaldo, Lionel Messi, people that we consider to be geniuses of this day and age, these are people who discover their strengths not at age 30 or 40. They discover these strengths from the age of 5, 6, 7, and they were groomed. They were investing in those things from that age. That's not to, so, to, that's not to say that from your, your age right now, you can't start investing in yourself. But if you have kids, the earlier, the better. So this is good for the adults. This is good for the pre-adults, the teenagers, the kids, the infants. Make this investment in yourself. This is good for even your spouse or romantic partner. I, I heard when Olushaya was saying that it wasn't only about him knowing his own strengths, but understanding his wife's strengths because it's a, it's a collaboration game. And so this is not just for yourself. 
You do it for yourself, do it for your family members, do it for your kids. If you're a boss in the workplace, get these assessments for your workers because the more people that are intimately connected with you either at home or at work and the more knowledgeable you are about everyone's strengths and characteristics, the better you're able to function and interact with these people for a more cohesive, um, productive environment. All right, so get down with this right here. I think the dollar has the dollar link has been on for a bit. I'll go back to the Naira link. Get down with this. Go to the link. I don't think it's too expensive. Go to that URL. This is an investment that will pay you for life over and over and over again. All right. All right. I'll let you um, continue, EJ. All right. Thank you so much, Daddy J. Oh, thank you. Fantastic. Yes, you want to so say coach, something? Yeah. So some, some person is asking, how can you ad, uh, administer the Gallup test for children? So yes. if your child is between the ages of 10 and 14, um, you might just have to send us, a, you know, once they are filling any form, just let us know, because there's actually the one for children, uh, which is called the strength discoverer. You know, it's for mm -hmm. children. You know, and that that one is not as um, robust as the the one for the adults. Okay, uh, and I must tell you, um, this is something you want to do for your kids. I immediately, I stumbled on strength. I immediately did that for all my, I have three children. I did all, all for all my children. And I can tell you they are better navigated now. Uh, one is getting ready to, to, to go into the university. university. But hmm. it was also, it was also from an understanding. Thank God he did that four or five years before. Go. Uh, hmm. And we were able to tailor him, you know. Uh, so unlike before, and let me also tell you something, eh? please don't, compare children and don't please for those that are set and I, I don't know why i left this out but never compare your children okay remember don't say even amongst your children amongst my three children the only thing they have common on all in all their strengths is command the only thing they have in all their strengths with me is command they have different other elements and it's not in the same order so mm. that uh, child A is behaving like this. Child B is behaving like this. Don't ever ask or tell a child to behave like A. Because that child is wired. It's purpose-built. It's like a machine ready for his own assignment. Okay? Why do you not want that child to be like A? That child would be... You're already misconfiguring that child and that child is already on a, you know, that journey to failure. So please, you must do this test for your children uh, and even for yourself, you know, uh, hmm. and then for your spouse. Absolutely. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you so much. We're going to take a few more questions and then we'll okay. wrap this up. So somebody said, what if you what if you have already taken the Gallup test? What can you do to go further? I'm just picking you the very last questions. Yeah. Coaching now. So, you know, discovery is one part. Too. Discovery is one part. You know, that's why I was, and thank God, because of uh, the bishop, we said we'll do a debrief. Usually, you can just have your PDF and just be going, you know. But when I talk about 30 minutes, there's no way you're going to even, I might even extend more than 30 minutes, depending on how interesting your life is, you know, <laughs> and how well you, <laughs> yeah, you <do> understand. <laughs> but the reality is that discovery is one part. Then, we remember we said developing. Developing before you deploying. De deploying. So, there's what you call the aiming of your strengths. So you've you've done your test. Okay, congratulations. You went to go and do your test. Uh, you, are, you are free from COVID or you have COVID. Then they'll say, okay, go and use this drug. That's when you now know what to invest. The investment A, B, C. Eh? A, B, C. You now know the skill. The skill. The knowledge. The knowledge. You want to, then you the now efforts. want to move into the, the efforts and how you must you know monitor and progress with that. You know, mm. uh, so uh, and, so basically, this thirty minutes debrief is going yes. to more like give you based on your results. This is yes. like a doctor now, right? Based uh, on your results, then the doctor can now prescribe this antibiotic. Uh, is what there are some questions we'll ask you now. That mm -hmm. you say, ah, why is, is this, this your headache? Always 
do you always express headache on this side? Mm -hmm. Your PVC, mm -hmm. your blood level seems to be high. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. do this one, do this one. And it's based on experience. Yeah, okay? Absolutely. It's based on experience also. I'm sure you, you did justice to that question. Second piece, Ruben is asking, how do you reconcile pursuing a profession out of your strength domain? Say all along, I've been doing the wrong uh, profession. How do I reroute? I think that's a, a no-brainer, but yeah, please attend to that. So, but, so wait, you're on your way to, you're going to Lagos, and you're, you find out that you're on your way to Kaduna, and you found out too late. And the gift is in Lagos. What do you do? Do you still <laughs> proceed to going to Cardona? Okay, go ahead to Cardona. All right. Please, I wish you all the best in Cardona. All right. You see, the fact that you now know that it's in Lagos, that's where everything is. Can you now now start running and then deploy what I call the CFI quotient? You will now be consistent. You will now be frequent and you will now be intense in what you're doing. Okay. Mm, because so, you let me even share that now. Let me even mm. share that now. So, you see, one thing this strength helps you do is, is it helps you move with laser focus. Remember, I told you some of the things that you learned or you would be in, in tune to doing. And mm. why is this possible is that once you're consistent, you know, frequent and intense, you are easily able to achieve so something faster than it would have take, taken if you were doing it over 10 years. You would have collapsed it, mm. you know. So, you will not be bothered about how long you've wasted going to Kaduna you now realize that you can actually get there faster with your understanding of where you are going because you are clear. You are clear as to where you are going. So there's this uh, formula they used to use in our school then. If three men were able to clean or clear the farm in six hours, how many men do you need to clear the farm in three hours? It's simple now. <laughs> you need six men times two. That, that's what it means. Instead of mm. three men for six hours, you now need six men to do it in three hours. Yeah, so that's yeah. where the CFI comes in. Once you know what you need, you are able to now know what to do with consistency, with frequency and intensity. And intensity. So, guys, yeah. it's never too awesome. late. The day you know it's morning is the day that it's morning. You know, yeah, it's day, with, like we talk it, say it in Nigeria, that the time when you wake up <laughs> with your morning, you know, so yeah. Mm -hmm. April Sunday is asking, since everyone has innate capacity, that is mm -hmm. talent, what, yes. Why is it so difficult to identify it? Since it's in it, why is it difficult to identify it? It's not, identif it's not difficult now. We've told you the six traces of six the talent. That you need to... eh, we've told you now. There are some things you do without even thinking. There's some, so, I, have you seen where you are doing something and say, ah, now wow, how do you do that? That's a sign of your talent. It's not hmm. everybody that can do it. So it's not it's not difficult. Observe, even you start to observe to do. Observe, you start to observe now that this thing is not everybody. Have you not seen where people say, ah, how do you how do you manage to do those things effortlessly? It's your talent. It's innate. I hope that answers mm. that, you know. Absolutely. Yes, yes. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm just looking for any other question that I missed before. And okay, so I see that these questions that I've asked already were coming in more often. Okay, fantastic. I think we're done uh, with the questions in the comment section. Nobody is calling in today. Wow, what's going on, guys? <laughs> okay, somebody says Faith G. Ezima says, How do you reconcile career to talent? Can talent be channeled towards career? Or you need to pursue both on a different ground. Talent and career. Your car once you know your career, uh, your talent, it enhances you to chase the right career. And remember, in this day and age, don't be driven about one career. You are likely to change careers five times in this era that we are in. Wake up! I, I don't. I, have you? Have you begin? Okay, well. Let me tell you the reality. Eh? The era that we're in, the rate of acceleration has doubled, has quadrupled. In fact, COVID brought it faster home. And now, as the world, you see, what happened is that COVID, the, the eventual reality is what we're facing with now, that with COVID, people now realize that there could be human failure. Even though we've also always believed that there could be failure, we, human beings are uh, very sensitive, they're emotional, they are doing this, they are doing that. You know, now, what has that 
people that own businesses soon realize that we can no longer depend on humans. And we're all human beings. Oh. You see, those things used to watch in movies that they would develop some... We're all human beings, oh, but they now realize that we cannot rely on humans. And so you are competing. Now, so you now have to start changing and showing that you are you are this, you are that. So know mm. your strengths to be able to develop your career. You know, and your career cannot be one-sided. It will be, you know, multiplicit, not monolithic. Mm. Absolutely. Okay, so there is this message coming up and up again that you promised to mention 10 skills that we must have. So we want you to fulfill your promise before leaving tonight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Uh, I remember I talked about numeracy. Yeah? Numeracy? Yes. You must have numeracy, ability to calculate. Writing. And I don't know, I'm sure Bishop would have talked about this. Copywriting. You must mm -hmm. be able to. Then, oral communication. There's no way you want to run away from that. you right. You also must be able to work with others. You can no longer work in isolation. Then there's the thing around continuous learning, all right? I, you know, and then improve your thinking skills, creative thinking. Um, your computer skills must no longer be computer appreciation. It must now have gone above that. Then reading, ah, you must read, oh. Then document use, how to use documents in this day and era, not just filing physically now, online, using the cloud. Those are some of those skills you ought to develop. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's up to 10, but look, that's, nice. that's what I can remember. Right? Okay, yeah, but I, I'm sure, you know, I'm also under a lot of pressure that I need to leave right now, sis. Okay, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Like, we appreciate your presence you. here. This session has been amazing. Mm -hmm. And, like, thank you for coming. Guys, can we say a huge thank you to... Coach Olusha in the comments. Please, please say thank, please, you, please, sir, thank, thank you, sir, for coming. Thank you, sir, for coming. And I hope that you were able to share your nuggets and screenshots <laughs> or your stories that tagged all the available. Yes, yes, yes. So, guys, I know if you've not done it yet, I know you've been so busy taking notes, but I want you to really appreciate Olusheye Adekboju for tonight's session. I want you guys to do the usual, make screenshots of what you're seeing, put it up on your Instagram, um, prioritize his handle. His handle is Strengths Africa. It's written right there on the screen. You don't need to put my handle on night school. You can put it where, but, but I want you to prioritize his handle. Tell him what you've learned from Strengths Africa. Let us hype, hype, hype him. Follow Strengths Africa. He shares a lot of great stuff on that handle about strength and also about all the other um, fantastic um, events that they are running. But before then, there's a book that you released sometime this year. Could you please just talk about it briefly? Because I think some people would like to connect with that. Whoa. Okay. Thank you for the privilege. So this book is titled Reinvention. Okay. A 21-day journey of radical transformation uh, of life, of love, and of business. And, you know, you see, in life, we go through valleys. I've gone through several valleys, okay? And this book, you know, captures how, you know, using principles, um, I, was, I was able to come out of valleys at several instances, okay? And one of the valleys that I would describe is a financial valley, where, for instance, I was locked down <laughs> to my last $30, uh, and at that time, the equivalent was about 3,150 naira. Uh, and that I was helpless. But guess what? Using the principles which I shared in the book, I was able to navigate. Uh, let me even drop a few of those nuggets. Is that focus, you know, um, food, the food methodology. For every vision, there's a provision. So there's focus, there's order, optimism, discipline, and synergy, and stamina. Is one of those key skills, but don't worry. Get if you're able to buzz me up on um, uh, my Instagram, Instagram. We'll, we'll connect. We'll connect. We'll awesome. connect. Awesome, amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah, <laughs> I will connect. I need to even, you know, talk to you about the book. Thank you so much. Like, you guys have been amazing tonight. You know, thank you for coming. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Motivational Nurse. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, 
Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Daddy Joe. Yes. <laughs> yes, and thank you for for letting me just sit back and be a guest for once. I was just sitting back and learning instead of being the one always talk, uh, always talking. So, guys, how how are you enjoying this 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 new format? You know, I told you guys I was going to experiment with moderation, and uh, we actually made good on that. And I'm sure and very certain that Ejiro Osakede did fantastically well. Um, so thank you so much, Ajiro. I want you guys to go follow her. This is her new handle. Um, I think her previous handle was deactivated or something. So just go follow her new handle. It's energetic EJ underscore. All right. Go to her Instagram, follow her, put up on your Instagram stories and thank her very much for being on here and for making this live event colorful. Again, also thank Olusheye Adekboju. His handle is at strengths africa all right thank you guys so much Olushoye, thank you so much we're going to let you go right now thank you so much we appreciate your presence thank you thank you thank you all right um energetic ej thank you so much i'm sure you will always be available when we need to call upon your superpowers again <laughs> thank you so much exactly. thank you that's exactly. 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 my superpower exactly. and i all right am honored. thank honored. you so much thank you all right i'll see you on the back end awesome guys you know you can see how my voice is very fresh because i wasn't really saying anything i was just catching crews in the comment section but either way this has been fantastic genius by design by olusheye adekbaju we are going to leave up the replay in case you want to go back and you know make your notes and catch up on some areas that you might have missed this was power packed really power packed so i'm sure you guys agree go back and watch more of that also if you want to contact Olusheye for coaching or for the links to buy his book or the strength the strengths finders the gallup strengths finders assessments and his 30 minutes bonus that debrief bonus that comes with it just go to strengths africa that's the handle right there there on instagram he's very open and willing to take you up on your questions all right Okay, guys, this has been it. It's been a swell time. We're going to have another fantastic episode. For those who are coming for the first time, this is night school, all right? And we convey this every single Friday by 11 p.m. Nigeria time, all right? And this is the new Instagram handle for night school. It's right there. Go follow night school TV underscore. And also follow my handle right there at John OBD. And if you're just watching this here and you have not subscribed to this YouTube channel, just hit the subscribe button right there. And if you can, hit the bell notification icon so you get notified when we put out new videos or when we go live. Also, if you want to get the latest, if you want to be the first to know when we're releasing new stuff, join the Telegram channel. The URL is right there, hsa.to forward slash J-O Telegram. Also, I always send out a weekly newsletter to my subscribers every Sunday by 7 p.m. Nigeria time. And if you want to join my newsletter, it's uh, johnobidi.blog forward slash newsletter. Make a screenshot if you don't want to forget it. That is the screenshot. I think that's it for, that's it for now. I don't th think I'm forgetting anything. But anyway, those are our Instagram handles. Join us there, subscribe, and share. Next week, we'll have another fantastic episode. But until then, you know what it is. Use what you have for what you have is plenty. Take care, guys. Mm -hmm.